accomplish as in the grow world. And the culture wars use knowledge and technology to benefit. Are you saying that the ghouls weren't the only aliens to visit Earth in the past? Well, how does that affect us today? Well, we don't think the ghouls are the same. Being parasitic by nature, they just used it to become a dominant race in the galaxy. But some of the good gods, like humans, might have used it too. And they will still be out there. Any indications of who they are? Yes, sir. The Vikings. Now, in Norse mythology, the gods were powerful warriors. Legend tells us that the god Thor was a friend to humans and protected them from the Etans, beings of great power and knowledge for enemies of mankind. He used a weapon called Thor's hammer. Now, when Thor hurled the hammer, uh, it's supposed to be thunder and, and lightning. Now, that could indicate some sort of uh, advanced type of energy weapon. Yes, sir. I think what Daniel's trying to say is if there is another bunch of aliens out there who are hostile to the rules and have equal or superior firepower, we ought to look them up. They could become allies. I have seen the hammer sign before. It's the symbol of a world called Samaria. Al Jafar taught a sequence of Stargate symbols to that world. Why then? To ensure that no more harm goes there. It is forbidden. Something transpired on Samaria that no world will speak of. Well, I like the sound of that. So do I, Colonel. All right, you have a go. Sir, I don't know what to say. Well, the alien friendly in the event you succeed in your mission to make contact. Oh, you've been made. It's great. Uh, we asked the Sagan Institute to imagine a sort of reading Earth if they could somehow hypothetically get into this world. Uh, it's all over we are. It's like various Earth cultures, religions, mysteries. <laughs>
This is Thor's hammer. I think they're dead. I don't want to hear that. You said Thor liked humans, that he used his weapon to protect them. We go back, we bring another SG team through, and we start a search. ancestors. We came here from a different world. From Earth. Midgard. Then we are your brothers and sisters. Midgard is the ancient home. Thor brought our people here and made this to keep us safe. Do you, do you know how this works? Uh, are they dead? That's a magic beyond our ken. It's said that Thor will come back one day and teach us when we're older. Kierwin, would Thor kill a human being in order to kill an Etten? Never. Our gods are great and powerful warriors, but they are just and true to their word. So they may be alive? Is there anyone who might know where they are? Only one. We call her Kendra. Ten seasons ago, she walked through the portal and was taken. Taken? Where? That winter, some hunters found her wandering half frozen in the mountains. Maybe the beam transported them somewhere else on the planet. Do you know where we can find this, this Kendra? She lives by herself. I take her things now and then. We can't spare the horses, but I can take you there on foot. I absolutely, please. This way. Technology will not function here. Now, no luxuries. 
your worshippers, your slaves to your Joke, people. I think we just got the answering mission. Only basic sustenance. And time. We should hear the remainder of the message. When you tire of this existence, go to the Hall of Yelda and face the hammer. There is no escape. Only the host can leave this place alive. Cool trap, so it would seem. If I attempt to leave this place, the gold I carry will be destroyed by a hammer. You must leave without me. If I stay, I will remain safe. Just relax, Teal. I'm not going anywhere. Let's just find this hall of mohair, whatever it's called.
I call it the labyrinth. It is the place where the gold are destroyed. How is it done?
How much do you remember of your life before? Much. I was a beautiful child. Is that bad? Anjubana beauty is a curse. I don't understand. Because the gold won't perfect hosts? Yes. What happened? Marduk discovered our secret and raided the temple when they tried to hide me. Sorry. Because of my training in the temple, the Goa'uld who took possession of my body could not take complete control over my mind. A part of me, my sins were made. Something of the host survives. How did you end up here? Teal said the Goa'uld made this perfect planet ages ago. So it is. But I knew my beast. She hungered for conquest, so I became a voice within. I taunted her and whispered of rumors that Samaria must hold the wealth of riches for one bold enough to take it. It actually influenced the gold that entered the world. Yes, she came to Samaria. I hoped only for a quick death, escape. But we were taken into the labyrinth. Dark, a terrifying place. Until Thor's hammer set me free. And I've honored his ways and his people ever since. Here's a sign from Thor. Now we can go. Water. Give it enough time, it'll bring down the walls. Walls just like that. So in a couple hundred years, we'll be free. Yes. I thought they preferred human hosts. There are other 
species far older that have been used as hosts. Some of them measurable power and savagery. I wonder how long it's been trapped down here. Perhaps a thousand years. One is going to realize long periods of sleep to survive. It is dead, right? We don't have to go back there and try to stake through its chest or anything. The old stories say Lewis had great regenerative powers. But those are tales told to frighten children. It is a myth. It was dead. That's good. I believe. You believe? I am certain. Part of her wants to face it all again, and another part 